Innovation happens when people are fearless. In order to be fearless, you have to care for them. We didn't care for our people. We are brutal. So we changed. Over a year, we changed. We made massive changes. Like the only thing, if you, if you were to ask me, that we really fixed was the culture. And then when somebody told me, and we've all read this, that what is that culture eat strategy for breakfast or something like that, right? Something, some, it is true. It is true. Strategy is transient. Culture is far more permanent. And we did many, many changes in our organizations, which were very fundamental to essentially be an in innovation-led organization. We removed, we removed the performance management system from our company. We said, this is just, this is just bad. We are trying to do this performance management of people who are very driven. They want to succeed. They are not people who do not want to work. They actually want to work. They actually want to, they want to do the right things. You have to fundamentally believe in people and trust them. We didn't. So we removed the performance management system. We said there will be no performance management systems in the company anymore. So we now have a blank sheet of paper. We removed the concept of you know, paying out of bonuses. We said everybody gets 100%. We removed every inhibition that people may have to say, you want a holiday, take it. You don't want to come to work, don't come. Just do what you think you want to do. And that changed. That changed us. That changed us as a company, that changed us drastically, and probably gave us, what, what I can now today say, gave us a lot of strength, but at that point in time, it was all experiments. Again, we were partly going based on our gut, on what we thought is the right thing to do within the organization, but we felt that it is at least more aligned to where we want the company to, to go towards.